worse than that. You have to come in and get back this way. If you can't block the door, are you? How many of uh, how many of these students speak English? You do? The media just got here and they wanted us to start again announcing the countries. So each country will stand up. We have 55 people that come over uh, to train and to be at the at Beijing and see your country and then go to the Shaolin Temple. And while we're at the Shaolin Temple, we got to make, meet with the head, uh, the head priest, the head Buddhist monk. And he uh, painted us a uh, calligraphy for every one of our people. We got along well. And actually, that, we had a private session with him. And then we went down to see the Terracotta Warriors. And now we're in your city to meet your people see the martial arts school here, and uh, do a little training, and then go see panda bears. <laughs> we love the panda bears. Everybody loves panda bears. The uh, trip has been fantastic. We've been here for two weeks. Feels like three months, but it's been two weeks. <laughs> and we're, we love it. Everybody has loved the country. You have a beautiful countryside. And I know 2008, the Olympics are going to be successful because they've already started promoting it through the Shaolin Temple to get people to that city. And actually, uh, people will come out here to see the panda bears as well, so I think you're gonna have people seeing your country from all over the world. Just on my tour is 55 people. We have different countries. We have the country of Argentina. Argentina. <laughs> we have people from France. We have people from Canada. Canada. And North Canada. And then we have people from New Hampshire. Just stand up as I say it. No, stay up. Stay up. New Hampshire, we have, do we have Vermont? Yes. Vermont. Just stand up as we say it. Vermont. Connecticut. Connecticut, stand up. Illinois, Arizona, Arizona, Indiana, Oregon, Oregon, California, California. Where else we got here? Indiana, did we get Indiana? Louisiana. 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 Florida. Arizona, we got? Yeah, what else we got? Just say it stand up. Where? Massachusetts. Oh, yeah, Massachusetts. Michigan. 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 Tennessee. 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 Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> Virginia. <laughs> New Jersey. Chobon. Where's Chobon? Oh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> okay, now we're up. Anybody I missed? Did we get them all? Do we get them all by state? France. Where? France. Yeah. Everybody now rise. Bottom set safe? Great. Now you can sit down. We teach pressure points. The nervous. And while I'm talking, oh, he's telling us. We teach pressure points. It is the weakness to the human body. They are nerve, nerve endings, nerve crossings. You attack the Y, you attack this way. When you attack nerve endings, you attack down into the destructive cycle to the human body. We use the five element theory. Fire melts metal, metal melts wood, wood penetrates earth, earth obstructs water. So we use that cycle, and that cycle will destroy the human body. 
the key to getting into some of the pressure points is some pressure points only need a touch. That's all. Some need a rub. Some need hit. And that's what makes them function. A touch point we have right here at the small bone. It, it's right in this area. Do that to yourself. Just go like this. That's a touch pressure point. Let me use you. If he makes a tight fist and I try to bend his fist, he can't do it. But right under here is a pressure point. If I touch it, releases the wrist. And I get him in this position, and then I could strike or punch, or I could just run. Pressure points are important because if in real self-defense, if a man this big and strong grabs me, and I don't, and hold tight, if I don't know pressure points, I'm not getting out of the situation. I had to know to reach and touch that point. That'll bend the wrist. Then I go to my body to create a base. I'm out of it in one second. I have my finger on the point. I still have my finger on the point. If I take this in and cock it, we could put him down or we could break or sprain the wrist. So what I want you to do, you're all going to pair off. And you people are going to help them. Work from here. Have them grab. Have them do this. To see. Then have them go here. If you're a small person and a large person grabs you, you do this. You put this on the point and you let your other hand push this finger into the pressure point correctly. Because sometimes people that are small can't get the point this way. So they do this. They use this hand to help support the pressure point technique. Then you get him and do that. <coughs> Let's all pair off and try that. Right here. Right here. Pressure point needs rub. You make a tight fist and rub. This pressure point controls him keeping a fist. If he has a fist and you rub that point, it makes the fist pull away and go to sleep. <coughs> so if somebody grabs you, you will make a tight fist. You only have to go here and rub up and down this way. Never, never this way. No, this way. The nerve goes this way and you want to give a message. The harder he grabs you and holds you, the more it hurts him. That's all we need to do for self-defense. Just right here. Ah.
When they grab, just go right here. But as they do a particular form, they are mapping out all the weaknesses to the human body. And they were contained and hidden in those forms like a road map. And even while we're at the Shaolin Temple, the head man, we talked about forms. And we told him that we are into the cycle of destruction, the element theory, and this, that's the way to attack the human body, and that they're contained in the form. The, the head man said that was exceptional. He pointed out in the schoolyard, and he said many people come over here to the Shaolin Temple that do forms but they do forms with no meaning. That's what he told us. He even pointed to my senior woman here, Shoban, and said, out in the schoolyard, everybody does forms. That's the children. But they have no meaning also, because they don't want to teach this to the children. Everybody should learn some pressure points, because it's the easiest way to do self-defense. The next pressure point you're going to do is right here in the middle of the arm. It's right here in the middle of the arm. This is a hip pressure point. Only hitting it will make it work. This was a rub pressure point. A lot of martial arts books tell you to hit here. They will tell you to hit. I want you to raise your foot and you're going to attack that spot just like this. Now loosen up. You do not do this. Bend your back. If you bend your back, it is no good. You must stay erect, straight. He grabs, hold tight. We go here. Help, 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 help. Small intestine 18, if you're asking. Is the eyes okay? Again, you're not going to hit for the follow-up. They're going to grab you. When they grab you, I want you to just do this. Attack the inside of the bone. Don't do that. That would knock him out. Because you have hit here, the pain, the pain goes on the nerve like this. <coughs> the, a true martial artist hits for the setup and follows up and catches the pain to strike again. So as I hit, boom, bang, boom, bang, boom, bang, any way I want. Finally, oops, sorry. Didn't mean to knock you out, it was the wind. <laughs> Thank you. What I want you to do is they grab, and I want you to just lift your foot. It's back of the arm. Do that. That's what will happen. If somebody in the street grabs you, bang. Let's say they grab that hand. Many moves in the martial arts go like this. Many moves go like this. So the pressure point is still over here. You cannot hit on this side of the bone. The pressure point is not there, it's here. When somebody grabs the opposite hand, this is to stretch their nerve. This will get you over to tap it. And so that's why martial arts have this, this move. So if he grabs, I pull, in a real situation, he would try to pull back. He would <coughs> try to, then I go like this. I go like this. And I attack just right here. That will make the hand open up. So, if somebody grabs you on that side, strike here. If they grab you with that side, strike like that. But the pressure point is still there. Everybody pair off and work on that.
Anytime somebody grabs you, you always bend your elbow. Kata and forms have a lot of moves that go like this. They have moves that go like this. They have moves that go like that. Kata and form will have moves that go like this. They will go like that. Some will just go like that and turn that way. People have forms that go like this. They come here. They come here. <laughs> When you do that move, that's somebody that's grabbed you in this region, in this area. When you make that move, you are squeezing their fingers in here. So if, let me use you. If he grabs me like this to detain me, I go like this. Somebody grabbing you at the elbow, you do this. You turn, look at his hand. His hand will pivot. You can strike. And then you can step and strike. Or kick, all in that move. If they grab you with two hands, anywhere, all you need to do is bend your elbow. If I bend the elbow, and go like that, his hands will be upside down. It doesn't take strength. I now just turn my hand. I have him. It is a very simple, easy self-defense move to do, especially women, <coughs> children that would be grabbed. They grab the arm. We bend. We come here. We grab them. We have both our hands tied up, and we're free to hit. If I had two people try to detain me, I want big ones. <laughs> and they grab me, and they try to hold me back so that I can't get a Mark Gary <laughs> <laughs> to kill him. <laughs> I just make two fists and go like this. I'll do it again slow. I go here. There are kata moves that go like this. Go like this. Go like that. And then I would take and turn and go here and throw him into him. So if you have a move that goes like this and then goes like that, <coughs> what are you going to work on? If somebody grabs your arm down in here with one hand or two, doesn't matter, you bend your elbow. If you're small, and let's pretend he's big and strong, <laughs> hold tight, I bend my elbow and I use this hand to help. Now I have him back. Got that? Yes, sir. Everybody try that. But this, we have done the medical study. I have done a medical study at three major medical universities. And we have wired up people and done my techniques. And they found no harm at all, especially if you know how to do the revival. <coughs> Does everybody understand that? So it's, it's nerve. No injury. If, if he grabbed at me and I got this arm and I just went like this and broke the arm, that's injury. If I punched him in the face, he can take that, by the way. Make a tight jaw. He, he can take that. He can take a punch in the face. And that would be a blood knockout. But a little pressure point right here. Fight would be over. Help him down. Help him down. So we don't punch. We use one knuckle and tap pressure point. We use one knuckle, maybe a tap pressure point, 
and the arm goats not. All right. I'm going to let Master Will Higginbotham come out and teach a technique. Will Higginbotham. I got a name right here. Okay. The big facts. They go, I mean, it's about that. Yeah. What was that? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and then follow it up down on the mental foramen here. Okay? I'll just do this right. Crap. Down. Palm. B, should I explain to you? Um, as, as you like, whatever, huh? whatever you like to do. Okay, I'm going to show a combination knockout technique from a wrist grab using the lung five point that Sensei explained earlier. Lung five causes the head to come forward, it causes this knee to buckle. So after I strike here, I'm going to strike spleen 10 on that leg. But when I strike here, when his head comes forward, I'm going to take his head like this and then do a dead hand technique. Um, I have a saying, never look a gift head in the mouth. So we're going to take advantage of that, that head. All right, He's coming we'll your way. So. Okay. So. He's got me in a nice tight grab, and he's got his arm locked, I can't move it. So I touch heart six right here, all of a sudden he becomes fine. I'm going to hit him on triple horn or 12, just a little tap like that. And I kind of can't make a fist with my palm, so I'm just going to flip him like that. Lots of twice. Come on. Most of the knockouts have been hitting on the arm <coughs> and then hitting to the face. He grabs from so he grabs, we hit here, and then we tap here. But a lot of a lot of people might think that if you do that, if you, you're hitting to the head and that could cause a knockout. The other way we could do it is is if you hit right, grab, grab the points, and I'm able to do the knockout just by hitting on the arm. And I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of a lot of fights. Nobody gets knocked out by hit, hit on the arm. So he grabs, grab the arm. We'll see.
Yeah. 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 We had a fantastic time. We got a, a kung fu demonstration in Beijing. We had acrobats, Chinese acrobats. Fantastic. Every show has been fantastic. And the food is really fantastic. The best food in the world. Uh,他就说他一直跟中国那个话,呃,在中国的旅游是非常难以,但他觉得中国人很友善,很友好,他在,呃,在家来之前就说,万有一生的中国人会那么友好,到周到那儿都有人。就是给他们帮助然后上来给他们就是比较友好的招呼然后他在北京那个开了中国武术的表演然后他在就是中国觉得中国就他这个这次中国性非常非常高兴非常满意做呃就是他他问我就是作为一家的宗祠那现在大学
，让他打工，打工在学校一点感觉没得，他依然打工的学位。我整个手就是会一下就做做翻译，比如刚才我打到会把那个手脱手。那个人的体型越大，他他攻击的，哎，就是他的就是学位就是神经在这个学位的位置就和文化就是武术交流。他们这次来了两个星期，先到北京，然后到少林寺，然后到西安。你没到成都为啥子回去？我是那个，我是那些学生做老师。They can put that in the newspaper. Is this all one newspaper? Uh, no, you, you know, it's just a job. Two different? Two different. It's the same, right? Yeah, but I signed one. Oh, they can keep. You 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 can keep. Yes, many grandmasters. Yes, including Bruce Lee. Yes, many grandmasters. Yes, many grandmasters. Yes, many grandmasters. Yes, many grandmasters. Uh, that, that's Furuta Sensei. That's uh, from uh, Japan, Senshin, uh, Vice President of Senshin High School. Uh, I think there's an International Senshin Kai Federation or yeah. Association in the United States. Right. His instructor, uh, Mabuni, is the headmaster and uh, he's a vice president. Wow. Yeah. He's very so high official. He's a high official in the organization. They, they you come up much. here, they come into Japan looking to find the history of their forms. And they came into China from Osaka, Japan. And they ran into our instructor, Mr. V. And they thought they found the fact, the truth, right there. He told them, no, the truth is coming this Saturday. And he said, we got more than that happening. V had already shown them some breakdown in the forms, and they were totally amazed. So they thought they found the secret. And then he told them, we're going to be here in force. They come back just to see us. I break down Kata. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I use, I use uh, pressure point. Kyushu. Kyushu. Jitsu. Yeah, everywhere. Three, three, six, one pressure points. All over the body. Do you, do you have uh, chairs? Yes. You can put three, four chairs here. They can okay. sit right up front. Okay. These uh, are our special guests. Everybody up. <laughs> That's it. Three. This is Welcome. 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 Put the chairs right up front. Right up front. Grandmaster Dylan. Right up front. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Japanese. They do not speak English. I think one speaks Chinese. You speak English? Yeah, I ask him if they do pressure point. Two points? One touch, hold tight, and two, just one touch. And then this hit point. We're going to get people to demonstrate. So this is Yeah, you sit down. Okay. Or explain to him. You sit here. Uh, I want some of you guys breaking down some moves from katas, basic katas that they would do. 
I want an explanation of this. You know, maybe even this or this. And I'll sit here. Each of you can take a turn. Will be a control, but make it a good breakdown from a, from a, a Japanese pinon, hion, the hanchi, and do it. The attack is a man who's trying to grab me. He's, he's rushing in to grab me. To grab me. Reaching in. Here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to step. When I step, I'm stepping in between him here, breaking his root. So as he comes in to, to grab, I'm here. When I step in, Everybody show the kind of move and do that. They don't understand English, so don't waste too much time on explanation. <coughs> together. Feet go together so you're getting closer to your opponent. It, it's not double block. If it were double block, you'd be standing like this. Kata comes up like that. If a big person grabs you, now I'm going to walk through it. This comes up to here. As this comes down to here, that gets you close enough to attack like that. I'm going to do this one open hand so I do not injure his eye. So he grabs tight, step up, up and down, up and down, up and down, press the leg. Thank you. Next. <coughs> this move is done in Cezanne in cat. What you done in cat tells you where you're going to hit. He's grabbing me here. Particularly if he grabs me with one arm. Well, two arms doesn't matter. If I strike here, I go to cat, I want to strike here and here. Okay, with this movement. So when I go here, he's grabbing. Strike. Oops. So he's from a it's from a push. He's gonna he's gonna push at me how a fight might start. So what I'm gonna do, he's gonna push, I'm gonna catch here like like he's looking at him. Release and just 
strike. So, so. Punch comes in, I'm going to catch long. And come in uh, lever 14, and I'm going to come back up and hit um, stomach nine. If I can't, if his head turns and I can't hit stomach nine, I'll go for uh, double by the 20. So, punch comes in. this, I'm going to come in here like this, and it's going to end like this in the move. So what I'm going to do is do it slowly. I'm going to come in here, I'm going to cut here, come down here, I'm going to tap right there. Get bow to our special guest from Osaka, Japan. Up, that's it.